Welcome to Ticket TV. I'm the Castle Hunter, David Weinzock, and today we are at Crichton Castle in Midlothian, not too far from Edinburgh, and it's a fantastic testament to the power, style, and often wayward ambitions of Scotland's noble families. Let's go check it out. When you walk inside Crichton Castle, it feels almost equal parts palace and castle. It's quite fancy in here, but remember that at its core, the nucleus of the castle is this old stout tower house built in the 14th century by John de Crichton. It was his way of making his mark on the landscape, stating for everyone to see what his ambitions were. That said, the apex of the Crichton's power and their infamy was still around the corner. The height of power for the Crichtons was reached not by John, but by his son, William. And you always want to one-up your dad, right? So William built this big courtyard castle around his father's tower house, and we're now standing in the Great Hall of William's castle. He would do pretty much anything to get ahead in life, and it was William Crichton who presided over one of the bloodiest episodes in Scottish history. When the Crichton family fell from grace in the mid-15th century, the castle was eventually given over to Francis Stewart, who carried out extensive refurbishments in the 1580s. Now, he was a really interesting character, a man of extremes, if you will. He was very cultured, spoke multiple languages, but was also given to fits of rage, and Crichton Castle and his refurbishments reflect that Janus-faced character. It's bristling with gun loops, but also very fine features like the Italian facade just behind me. That beautiful diamond pattern is glowing in the light right now. And when we walked into this castle, we took one look at that and we all said, wow. And that's exactly what Francis was hoping to get. Remember that no castle stands alone. There would always be outbuildings serving various functions. And one of the survivors at Crichton Castle is the stable block just behind me. It's pretty special actually, because if you take a look at the doorway, it's more like what you'd expect from Moorish architecture than anything you'd find in this part of the world. But that really shouldn't surprise us, because Francis Stewart, who had it built in the 16th century, was a world traveller. He went to places like Spain and Portugal and brought those local styles back home to Scotland. An almost universal feature of Scotland's castles are these turnpike stairs, what we call a spiral stair in Scotland. Now, they can be notoriously difficult to scramble up and down, especially nowadays when they're quite well worn. Well, Francis Stewart had an elegant solution to that. That's more like it. This is Scotland's first scale and plat staircase. Straight, airy, room to breathe, unlike those tight turnpike stairs. It's chic, sophisticated, everything that Francis Stewart wanted his castle to be. Crichton Castle also had a role to play in one of the most brutal events in Scottish history, and that really is saying something. It was called the Black Dinner, and it unfolded in 1440. William Crichton was the Chancellor at the time, and he wanted to take the Douglas family down a few notches. They were quite powerful, after all. So he invited the Earl of Douglas, who was only 16 years old, to dine with King James II at Edinburgh Castle, not far from here. They accepted, and en route, the Douglases were treated to a little rest here at Crichton Castle. When they arrived in Edinburgh, all seemed well. There was a great feast unfolded for them, but it quickly went awry. A piper started to play, and a servant brought out a black bull's head and presented it to William Douglas. This was an ancient Celtic symbol, meaning death. It was such an infamous event, shockwaves were spread throughout the nation, and now it inspired in our own time the Red Wedding in Game of Thrones. Thanks as always for tuning in to Dig It TV. This has been Crichton Castle in Midlothian. I really hope you get the chance to come check it out for yourself. The inside is only open during the summer, but it's a beautiful site to come and explore around 365 days of the year. And if you have enjoyed this video, of course, like and subscribe. And let us know in the comments if, like the Black Dinner, you know of any events from Scottish history which went on to inspire works of fantasy or fiction.